Hi, I'm Joel Jones and I own Jonesy's Incorporated and Jonesy'sAutoClub.com. My company specializes in restoring classic Corvettes up to Concours level, as well as building completely custom one-of-a-kind cars like this 1957 Thunderbird. Torchmate just sent us their brand new 2x2 cutting system. And I'm going to show you guys everything that's included in that cutting system, how to assemble it and how to start using it to produce one-of-a-kind one-off brackets for custom cars like this. So after you inspect the crate for damage, it's a good idea to unload all the components and lay them out on a table, kind of like you see right here. I'm going to just quickly go through what all is included and what is not included in the kit. Starting with their quick start guide, this is a quick reference that will tell you whether or not <clears throat> you have everything that you're supposed to. Two aluminum cross members, tool mounting plate, assorted washers, nuts, hardware, linear bearings, torque height adjustment, a control box, your software package, power supply and cord for the control box, a USB cord, and three power cables. On top of that, I purchased a specific tool mounting kit for my Thermodynamics Cutmaster 51. Um, it includes a new nozzle, mounting, U-bolt, and special plate. One final thing that I'm going to mention is that in the software they provide you with PDFs of the instructions for either your CAD software if you buy it from Torchmate and also the driver software and installation instructions for the 2x2. I opted to print those off and put them in a three ring binder so that I can look at them while I'm assembling it if I need to. This is what you'll find once you take the crate apart. You'll see the two rails and the gantry kit. And the gantry kit is the red component. Um, the two rails are actually bolted to the bottom of the crate, so those are not moving anywhere. The gantry crate kit was held in there with a, a two by four and a strap, so it was completely secured down. All the miscellaneous things that were on the table in the previous um, clip were kind of set in along this wrapped in bubble rack, packaged very well. There was OSB surrounding this, it was a complete box. Two people could easily pick this up and carry this out of the, out of the truck, so you don't need to have a forklift when it arrives. Um, and you want to go through and just make sure that nothing's damaged, get it unpackaged, unbolted, and then set on a table.